What's up, guys? I'm here in my garage, and as you can see, knowledge. <laughs> Just kidding. Sorry, Ty. Uh, anyway, yeah, I follow you, actually. Um, it's good stuff. Anyway, so that's a joke. Not that it's good stuff, but it's a joke that I did here in my garage, because I am in my garage. Anyway, so I got a quick video for you guys. Um, you're probably never going to see this die, but whatever. Don't sue me. So, just for naming you, I got this uh, this toy, I guess you could say. I don't know if you want to call it a toy, but it's a, uh, it's a dumbbell. And it's a power block. It's a power block. This bad boy is awesome. Uh, if you're looking to save some space, let's see if I can find the box real quick in, in my garage. Uh, I have the box for it. for it. In fact, I bought two of these bad boys. Uh, it was a set. You're looking at like 300 bones, man. 300 bones for this. It's a Sport 9.0. Check it out. Sport 9.0. And uh, it was a pair. So it's basically two boxes. And it's the 9.0. It's the 50 pound, the 50 pounder. So each each hand, each fisticuff is going to have 50 pounds on it. If you can lift 50 pounds. So... Uh, I YouTube the crap out of these and I thought it was a great buy kind of expensive but if you think about it you're getting uh, a bunch of dumbbells all packed up into one or two blocks so I'm a little bit ashamed of myself because <laughs> I haven't been using them as much because I had them for about a year but I have a gym membership and unfortunately I uh, haven't been at a gym in a while either because that's a whole different story. Got on an accident. <clears throat> so that's the story for now. And uh, so no work, no accident, no weight bearing on certain body parts. <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show it to you guys. Check it out. It's on the ground. You know what? Let me flip. All right. So we got the power block Sport 9.0. And if you notice, it's color coded. So you got the green purple, the white, and then the black. And the black is just not coated. And then when you pull this centerpiece out, you're gonna have two little uh, weight bars. And these bad boys are two and a half pounds a piece. And you can set those to the side. Now what I suggest, if you're gonna pick these up, spend the money and buy the stand that comes with it. And the stand, uh, it's, kinda, it's kind of up there. I mean, this right here by itself, with these, well, I have the other, the other one. It's, I'm not gonna bring it out, but they're the same. Uh, 300 bucks, like I said before, for the set. And this, is, this goes all the way up to 50 pounds each hand. So, so right here, when you take these blocks out, you got two and a half. Add this bad boy and it gives you a, a little readout right here so when you put the, uh, the cylinders in you start adding weight to the center piece so you got one two so that's five pounds added and then what you do is you lock that sucker in boom now it's locked so it'll put this little piece of metal which is like a revolving revolving plate so watch now it locks it in get that out of there so now you've got what is this I think uh, 10 pounds 15 pounds so now when you drop it into the slot you can bring this here it's like a divider and the reason why I said I get that stand because if you try to push this through on carpet, like let's say you're indoors and you're trying to work out like in your living room, it's really difficult to just get that locked into place. Because uh, if you don't get that locked into place, you're gonna have one side hanging out and it's gonna come out all sloppy. So what could happen is when you pull up and you start working out, uh, you could probably get hurt, especially when you're going on the higher, higher weight, you know? So. So right there, full battle rattle. 
20 pounds. So that whole thing is 20 pounds. Check it out. Now I can curl 20 pounds. So this, this tool isn't just for the men. It could be for the ladies as well. Uh, like I said, you could drop out those weights. You drop one weight out when you're looking at 17 and a half pounds, drop out two weights. Of course, when you have the first setting in there. So at, right here at 20 pounds, currently at 20 pounds, if you pull out those little metal bars, you're gonna drop it down to 15 for the first one, drop the second one out, now it's 15 pounds. I'm sorry, the first one would be 17 and a half pounds. Then you drop out the next one, 15 pounds, so. It's pretty self-explanatory once you learn that part. So then you can add your weight. So now I've just put the divider into the slot, the white slot, with the two, two uh, bars, the weight bars that are inside the plastic piece, the, the, uh, the handle. Now we're looking at 30 pounds. So 30 pounds. So if you're looking to save space, this is like the perfect idea. Um, like I said about that stand, it's better to have a stand because you can, it's easier to do your setups because let's say you're gonna go up in weight, you're pyramiding up, so you're doing like 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, and then you have to continuously pull this out, boom, boom, instead of just grabbing a second, you know, a different dumbbell, different dumbbell, different dumbbell, different dumbbell, say that fast, right? So when that happens, it gets kind of annoying because if you don't have that stand, you're on carpet, like I said before, or on something soft, this thing will miss. You'll, you'll miss the slot. And so you'll have this metal piece on the other side, like hanging down on the next slot over because it's not sitting. It's kind of lifted up a little bit. It's a little bit raised. See how they're, you can kind of, you know, create gaps so you don't want that gap you don't want that gap when you're trying to slide this bad boy in oh. so there's been a few times though where I was rocking all 50 pounds just doing chest I know not big and muscly but whatever but you still got to do it right and uh, I could have swore this thing was like shaking around so so that's it, man. And women. See, look, I don't even think I have it on there, right? Yeah, see? Oh, there you go. Yeah, there it is. It's fine. So, there you go, guys. I'll put it up for you guys. Bam! Bam! One for the bros! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you guys out on your purchase if you guys are gonna do that. It definitely beats having to buy freaking, you know, a whole set with a big old stand. And then you've got, I, I didn't wanna do that. Um, I had an apartment before, now I have a garage. And so this is where I'm at now. I shove these under my bed. And then sometimes I don't shove them all the way and then I just hit my toe right on them and I go, oh, damn it. And then I blame somebody else for it. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Uh, good luck on your purchase. Oh, wait, one more thing. I forgot to mention that with the power box, this one only goes up to 50, but if you notice it's color coded, you can buy add ons, which is. Pull that out. Should have taken it apart. You can buy add ons. Sorry, got one hand to work with here. So each one of these, for an additional, I think it's like 150 or 200 bucks, or something like that, you could buy additional weights. And then that way you can still, you can go higher. So obviously when you get stronger, and I'm talking meatheads, and they have other power blocks that go higher than 90, but you know, I'm a slender guy, so for me, uh, 50 uh, was a good starter point, and then you know, I, I started get, getting up here to the 60s and 70s, and so I go to the gym for that. But for at home, for doing arms, uh, 
I mean, if you're rocking 70, I mean, I've seen other guys uh, on YouTube, the like big bodybuilder dudes, they can rock up to 90 on certain extremities. So, but yeah, so once you start getting stronger, you can buy, you know, your attachments and it's all on Power Blocks uh, website. So anyway, guys, hopefully uh, you guys make the right decision and thanks for watching. Just wanted to share it. Subscribe. More to come. Thanks.